So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed um, for, for coming today. Um, what we will try to do each day is, is to start off with an inspirational video. Now, what I'd like to do is to, certainly today, um, start off with uh, an institutional video that we generally show to courses that involve leadership. Now, the way I see it at the moment is time is that everyone in this room is a leader. And if you think you're not, you are. It's just a question of putting in place the building blocks for the future. Now, there's always an argument with regard to what's the difference between a leader and a, you know, and a manager. Well, that will continue for time immemorial. But it's, it's always a question of, uh, of, of your perspective in life. So I'll just like to give you a small insight as to one of the elements that you would need to be a leader, and that would be attitude. If you want to be an impactful personality, you have to develop certain types of thinking and perceptions that change the way you see yourself and see the world. You were born to do something very significant in the world. And you have to get to the point where you believe that. Leaders are very unique people. They have a very simple distinction, and that is their thinking is different. Leaders do not think like followers. Leaders used to be followers, all of them. But what made them cross the line was a certain mentality that kicked in somewhere. Something happened to them that made them think differently. And I normally call that attitudes that influence people. The attitude, therefore, is different. Write this down. The difference between a leader and a follower is attitude. Why? Because it is unique attitudes that distinguish leaders from all. They think differently. And that's because attitudes produce certain behaviors. And those behaviors stretch the leader beyond the limitations of the norm. In other words, it is the thinking of the person that makes them see circumstances different. Cultivating these attitudes are the key to becoming a leader. Now, when attitudes of leadership is married to the ability of leadership, then you become a leader. You can have potential, but if you don't have the belief, your potential becomes a victim of your present belief. Remember the elephant? The elephant has great power. But what makes him afraid of the lion is his belief system. But if it's so powerful, it can make an elephant act like a sheep. It doesn't matter how big you are, how intelligent you are, how many degrees you have. It's your mind that keeps you small. And it doesn't matter how small you are, or how unintelligent you may seem to be, or how much you don't have. It's your mind that makes you the leader. Okay, that's just a, a small introduction. Now, a lot of people have said in the past that if you want to be inspirational, you have to be inspired. Now, when I was growing up, where did I get my inspiration from? Did I get it from my parents? Did I get it from my, you, you know, my uncle? No, I actually got it from someone so far away that it was, it was unreal. <coughs> um, it, it actually happened when I was about seven or eight years old. And someone said to me, David, the sky's the limit for those qualified. And I didn't really understand what that, was, what that meant. And at the age of 14 and a half, I left school with no qualifications. 
I just wanted to leave school. I didn't like education. It was an institution that was uh, smothering me. I decided that I wanted just to fly on my own. At the age of 16 and a half, I met a friend of mine who said, I'm going to join the military. And I thought, that's a good idea. I think I'll try that. So at the age of 17, I joined the military. And it was the best thing I ever did in my life. It gave me structure, it gave me discipline, it gave me focus, and above all, it inspired me to do well. The building box of what's inside you needs to be brought out of you. And that's one of the things that we try to do each day in our lives. Another point in my life, when a professor once said to me, why are you just surviving? And I said, well, I don't think I am. He said, oh, yes, you are. And it was during the winter, and he went to a window, and it was frosted over, and he just wiped a piece of that window frost away. And he said, there's a whole new world out there. Go out and find it. And I did. So that's the story of my life, and it's, a, it's been a fantastic journey. And what I'm saying is that when it comes to attitude, attitude really is what's within ourselves. It's how we use it. But at the same time, we have to be humble. Always be so careful and respectful for other people. Thank you. So with that in mind, I'll leave those thoughts with you. And if we can start today's program, what I'd like also to do is to draw your attention to yesterday's debates. We had quite a few lively debates yesterday, fantastic uh, uh, recommendations. And one of the issues that I'd like to do is just to draw upon the thoughts from yesterday, and I'll, I'll do an exercise board just purely for 10 or 15 minutes before Dr. Data takes over.